To ensure optimal performance and safety in the operation of your Holland fifth wheel, take a few minutes to learn the proper coupling procedure. Holland FWAL Aluminum Fifth Wheel Coupling Procedure. Before coupling, be sure that the area is level and clear of people and obstacles. Engage the parking brakes on the tractor and chalk the wheels on the trailer. If the trailer is loaded, be sure that the load is secure. Inspect the fifth wheel top plate and mounting bracket assembly closely. Make sure the fifth wheel is securely fastened to the tractor. Inspect welds and fasteners on the fifth wheel assembly. Replace any cracked components. Do not repair cracks by welding. Replace any missing fasteners and tighten all loose fasteners. Inspect the FWAL lube plates and make sure lube plates are in place and securely fastened. Fifth wheels mounted on sliding brackets must be visually inspected to ensure slider assembly plunger lock bars are fully engaged. The slider must be secure and locked in the proper position for safe operation. Make sure that the fifth wheel is in the proper position for weight distribution on the tractor. Check the articulation of the fifth wheel. The fifth wheel must move freely. Ramps must be tilted down toward the rear and resting on the stops. Before coupling, visually inspect the fifth wheel lock mechanism to ensure the lock is open and ready for coupling. Check the throat area of the fifth wheel to make sure it is free of debris, snow, or ice. If the lock is not open, pull the release handle and set it in the unlocked position. If your fifth wheel is air release equipped, set the tractor brakes and actuate the fifth wheel control valve to open the lock mechanism. Visually inspect the trailer upper coupler plate. The area supported by the fifth wheel should be free of scrapes or gouges. The leading edge of the trailer bolster or skid plate must also be free of any square or sharp edges. Inspect the kingpin to make sure it is not damaged. Also, make sure the kingpin is not obstructed by a lock or security device. Periodically check the kingpin for excessive wear using the kingpin gauge available from SAF Holland. Make sure the kingpin is properly lubricated and the upper coupler plate is free of rust and debris. A light oil rust inhibitor may be applied. Caution: Failure to follow all of the procedures contained in these instructions may result in damage to the lube plates. Line up the tractor with the trailer using the side view mirrors. Be sure the tractor and trailer are in a straight line. Never back under at an angle. You could push the trailer sideways and damage the landing gear. Back up slowly and stop short of the trailer. Do not back under the trailer. Completely exhaust air from the tractor suspension. Engage the tractor parking brake and place the transmission in neutral. Make sure the fifth wheel is below the contact surface of the trailer's upper coupler plate before backing under the trailer. If the trailer is too low, use the landing gear to raise the height of the trailer. If the trailer is too low, you could damage the tractor, trailer, and fifth wheel. When you have proper height alignment, slowly back up using the lowest gear possible. Stop when the fifth wheel is under the leading edge of the trailer. Do not attempt to couple. The kingpin should not be engaged at this step. Engage tractor parking brake and place transmission in neutral. Exit the cab and verify proper fifth wheel to kingpin alignment. One of the most common mistakes with coupling is incorrect kingpin to fifth wheel alignment. Proper alignment is critical. Air up the tractor suspension to ride height. The fifth wheel must make complete contact with the upper coupler plate. Never inflate the tractor suspension when the kingpin is above the throat of the fifth wheel. This will damage both kingpin and fifth wheel. If the fifth wheel does not make contact with the upper coupler plate, use the landing gear to lower the trailer until the fifth wheel makes contact. If the trailer is too high, the kingpin will not properly connect with the lock mechanism. Using the lowest gear possible, slowly back the tractor into the trailer to engage the kingpin and fifth wheel. You will hear the sound of the lock mechanism shutting around the kingpin. Avoid hard contact with the kingpin. Connect air and electrical lines and raise the landing gear legs until the pads just come off the ground. Perform a pull test to ensure the coupling procedure has been done correctly. With trailer parking brakes engaged, place the tractor in low gear and ease out on the clutch, just enough to feel resistance and make sure the coupling is secure. If the pull test is successful, engage the tractor's parking brakes. 
place the transmission in neutral and shut off the engine. Now proceed with the final visual inspection. Visually inspect the fifth wheel top plate. Make sure the release handle is fully retracted with the lock notch secured in the locked position. Make sure there is no gap between the fifth wheel top plate and the trailer's upper coupler plate. Go under the trailer with a flashlight to inspect the fifth wheel lock mechanism. The jaw should be completely engaged and closed around the kingpin with the lock closed behind the jaw. If the jaw is not completely closed around the kingpin or the lock is not engaged behind the jaw, the coupling was unsuccessful. If any one of these three conditions exist, you must repeat the complete coupling procedure. For the uncoupling procedure, refer to the Holland FWAL uncoupling video. When a successful coupling has been achieved, retract the landing gear using high gear. Secure the crank handle. Continue with the pre-trip inspection. The Holland FWAL coupling procedure is now complete.